George, when you're doing a reading, you move your hand. You 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 um, move your hand a lot on a pad. I remember you used to circle. I remember years ago you would circle, and then like in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years or something, you just kind of move your pen around. What does that do? What's it's the reason just for a that? form of distraction. Okay. You know, people used to think, you know, oh, some ghost under, you know, have you under there? I'm like, no, it's just me. I'm in complete control of myself. Right. Um, I'm a fidgety person. You know, as you can tell, I don't sit still. Right. Um, I'm always moving. You know, when I was in high school, I hated geometry class, and now I'm fascinated by it. Right. And a lot of my artwork reflects um, geometric, you know, symbols like triangles and right angles and things of this nature. So I guess you become interested in it when you decide you're interested in it. Do you believe not because somebody's shoving it down your throat? Do you believe in sacred geometry? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I did look up on that. Um, I got. I believe I got it on Amazon, um, where it lists who your archangel would be when you were born, and mine turned out to be Metatron. Oh wow! And he's the one that Metatron's cube. Yes. And I look into Dronvalo. Look in Dronvalo Melkadijic or something. He uh -huh. wrote he wrote the book, and there's a video on uh, YouTube called Sacred Geometry. It's called the Sacred Geometry movie. We follow this band uh -huh. Tool, and they they believe in all of that stuff. The drummer like believes in sacred geometry, but um, uh -huh. this guy named Dronvalo wrote the book on on like the Book of Life, the Kabbalah. Yeah. And what and is? they say that I believe Metatron was supposed to have lived the, on the earth and was actually yes. Enoch. Yes, yes. And then when he passed away, that God or the, the perpetual light elevated him yes. to an archangel because of his exceptional life he lived here. Yeah. So um, I do and I do admit I do have a you know I found it on Amazon I do have a statue of Metatron holding the cube in my room and a lot of times I will wear the cube yeah um, you know instead of a distinct you know religious symbol but I always you know have something on that um, connects me with I feel it's a spiritual connection but. Um, I do, I've been investigating into like sacred geometry because of the different symbols that it has in it. And, yep. you know, the other day I did an art piece and I didn't know what to do. And I was like, you know, will somebody give me some inspiration. And it was inspired just to do triangles all over an art uh, paper. And I did triangles all over the place and I just colored them in. And I said, you know, then I found an applique of irises and I connected it to the, uh, you know, put the irises on it. Right. And it looks like, you know, irises in a garden of triangles, you know. And, it's amazing. You know, I'll do abstracts, but I seem to like to do geometrics a great deal now, too, as I did in the past more so.